This is where we left off in the last class. So, we looked at uh, three networks for image classification starting with LXNet, then ZFNet and then VGGNet. Uh, VGGNet in particular had 16, uh, con uh, 16 layers uh, including convolutions and fully connected layers. And one thing that we saw that a large number of parameters are there in the first fully connected layer because you are connecting a 5 and 2 cross 7 cross 7 uh, volume to a 4096 dimensional vector. Right. So, that is one thing. Uh, the other thing that I would like to kind of mention right now, so that it becomes useful for the later part of the lecture is that, if I look at any of these uh, pink boxes here, right, or even these things which are known as the fully connected layers, and if I just flatten them out and view them as a vector, what does that vector actually capture? It captures a, it captures an abstract representation of the image, right. So, now imagine what would happen is, suppose you have trained one of these networks, AlexNet, VGGNet or any of your favorite networks. And by what I mean by training is that you have been tracking the cross entropy loss and you have run it for several epochs with some patients and so on. And now you are satisfied with whatever training error you are getting and you have stopped training now, right. Now after this, if I pass images through these net, through this network and I take the representation from any of these boxes or from the fully connected layer, what is it that I have essentially got now? I have got an abstract representation of the image that I have been feeding it, right. So, just remember this and this is something that we will use. So, this is uh, very common to do. So, you have a trained image net, many people have uh, released different models for image net, uh, the ones which we have covered uh, being included in them. And now for Im any image task, if you want to uh, do some processing, then it is common to take this trained network, pass your image through that. So, you can uh, train any, uh, you can use any image, uh, trained image net and pass that image through it or sorry, any trained convolutional network trained on uh, image net and pass the image through that and you can get a representation for that image. And this, uh, these are known as the FC representations and these are known as the convolution representations, okay, any of the convolution layers, fine. 